Hi guys, welcome back to the Eco Kitchen. I'm Chef Michael Keen. We're here to teach you how to cook sustainably while still satisfying your inner foodie. Today's recipe is amazing. This is grilled chicken with a thyme compound butter infusion. Comes with grilled asparagus and then also a grilled heirloom tomato. It's a great summer option, really fantastic. Our ingredients for this recipe begin with an organic free range chicken. I've cut it down to just the legs, that's all we're gonna use. But you buy it as a whole bird, use it for other recipes. Next we move on to our heirloom tomato. The nice thing about an heirloom tomato is that this hasn't been modified with all kinds of genetic madness. It tastes like a tomato used to taste. It's a beautiful thing. We also have our organic butter. This is a nice way to introduce a little salt into the dish without having to go crazy with it. We have our fresh thyme. This is a really delicious flavor here. I use this again and again with meats because it's a complement to just about everything but poultry in particular. And we finish off with our organic asparagus. And now to prepare the thyme, you just grab it loosely from the top and then run your fingers along the spine backwards and it removes all these little leaves. We're going to do this for quite a bit of the time. Now we're going to mix our fresh thyme, which I've separated from the stems, together with about a half a thing of butter. Is this healthy? Uh, I'm not ready to commit to that, but it's delicious, so eat it. Next up, get your finger and put it in between the meat of the chicken and the skin. You're creating a nice little butter pouch here, and the whole goal of this is that now we can stuff it with that butter and it'll season the meat as we go. Now I'm gonna take a scoop of that thyme butter, put it right between the skin and the meat, and then I'll work it right in there. We're not actually gonna be eating all of this butter since a lot of it's gonna be lost to the grill, but we're gonna eat a lot of it. Now we preheated our grill. This is absolutely critical. If you don't preheat your grill, your meat will stick, it won't cook properly, and it's gonna taste funky. Now we're gonna place our chicken butter side up so that as the butter melts, it's gonna melt down into the meat. So we're gonna to wanna to leave the grill open, but be wary, there are quite a bit of flames going on as the butter falls down, hitting that hot metal, it's blowing up. Now for the asparagus, prep is really simple. All you do is you take the asparagus and hold it near the middle and the base, apply a small amount of pressure, and it'll snap naturally where the wood ends. And that way you make sure that everything you're eating is just that nice, soft, delicate flavor. After we've done that, and the next step is to take a scoop of our thyme butter. A little bit has been held out. And we're gonna rub that all over these. Just put a dollop on top, move it around on your board, and that way it comes all nice and flavored. And now I'm just gonna place the asparagus on the grill. Cross pattern here. At this point, you don't wanna reach in with your hands, so any manipulation needs to happen with tongs. This is quite hot. And now to flip our chicken, we're gonna come in here and you slide with the grain of the grill, get underneath it, and then there's one quick gesture, flip her over. Be careful, there's a lot of flame coming out of here now. And now to prepare our tomato. This is the easiest thing in the world. We're just gonna slice it in half this way. Now we're gonna place our tomatoes skin side down. That helps protect them. And these don't have to go on for very long. We're basically heating the tomato through. If you leave it on too much, it's gonna end up looking like a stewed tomato that you've gotta clean off the bottom of your grill. Not appealing. One of the hardest things with chicken is knowing when it's done. You're more likely to undercook chicken than to overcook chicken. However, since this particular cut has the bone in, you have to be really cautious because that's an area that likes to hide undone chicken. What I do is I push on my hand and it should feel basically like the muscle in between your finger and the main knuckle there. And it should have some give to it. It shouldn't feel hard, but at the same time, it shouldn't just squish through like it was all loose. Pretty similar to that muscle texture. It's gonna keep cooking once you take it off the heat while it's resting, so it's better to take it off a minute early than a minute late, because there's nothing in the world worse than dry, overcooked chicken. All right, these babies are looking done, so I'm gonna pull them off here, being careful of any last minute flare-ups. We're setting them down on the board to cool and let the juices return to the center. This is so important. I'm gonna use a spatula for the tomatoes because they may need actually both spatula and tongs to kind of control what's happening here and to see how I can take those off nice and gentle. And the same thing for the asparagus. And that was our recipe for thyme grilled chicken legs. Thanks for watching another episode of the Eco Kitchen. If you liked what you saw, hit subscribe. We need you. Tell your friends. Get out there and do some great cooking.